Austin Box is already an established deck in the standard format, but after the Sacramento Regional Championships and Lugia totally just stealing the show, the deck had a bit of an issue. Like, if you look at the matchup data here, Lugia and also Urshifu to a lesser extent is this deck's worst matchup, so if Lugia is everywhere, this is very bad news for Lost Box. So I decided to try out Aerodactyl V-Star in my Lost Zone Box deck. The Ancient Star ability basically reads, if we flip over our V-Star mar marker first against Lugia, we win the game. They cannot use their summoning stars, so they can't accelerate their energies, so Lugia is just pretty much an awful deck, mainly attaching every single turn. And kind of the byproduct of playing Aerodactyl is also pretty good against Urshifu. If we flip, flip over our, our V-Star marker against them, um, then they cannot use their Inteleons, can't have crazy multi price turns uh so it's just a much more manageable, manageable matchup i originally threw this together is just like kind of a meme but it actually turned out to be really good i've won three tournaments in a week span including a 200 person late night series event the list isn't really anything super special it's kind of just turbo lzb but i snuck the aerodactyl and a fighting energy in there one of the more techie cards that i'm like kind of keeping in here for now is the drapeon like mew is probably not relevant enough to play this card um, but I just have that. I like having that peace of mind against Mew, but you probably don't necessarily need to play it. I like having the two rock sand over a pal pad just because I, I, I honestly just love playing two rock sands against Guardi, against Mirror, Chin Pao. Um, and it's just much easier to have both those rock sands and have to find the pal pad and then dig and find the rock sand all over again. Or I can just blast on a rock sand. And, and feel fine about it and three old draws may be unorthodox in a lost box deck but it adds so much consistency to this list being able to just get, give us more access to colrus on the first few turns just because like we're not playing a heavy loss vacuum count so it's pretty important that we do not miss colrus early on if i'm using mirage gate on turn two the last mine on turn three i might love that combo and the minion is actually a pretty solid attacker in mirror and in gardevoir and then other than that, pretty much the exact same stuff we're, we're used to with uh, Turbo Lost Box. I've had an absolute blast with this list. Just been incredible. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't think I've had a run this this good in a very long time. So let's see. We've been doing well in tournaments, but how does this stack up on the ladder? Not a bad opening hand this game. Uh, we got our flower selecting. We can get all our Pokemon down that we need with a Lost Vacuum to potentially even be threatening turn one. Mirage Gates. Um... So we'll just have to see what, what, what we're up against, what we're dealing with this time. Manaphy tells us nothing, and very unfortunate for us that they opened Manaphy instead of um, something else, like something that we could... Like, now we never can get the Reincarnation to turn one. Does appear to be a Gardevoir deck. Actually, no, it's Charizard. It's, 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 it's Arvinzard. So actually one of the trickier matchups for this deck so i'm happy and then it was kind of cool like all the all the vod footage i have on the channel from playing this deck in tournaments i've not had charizard yet so at least we can get some gameplay on the channel because I, I know i was asked about it is it is barrelzard instead of maybe potentially even arvinzard it could still have arvin just not the apigeot engine let's just slam down the vip pass get those guys going we have pretty much everyone we need in here we did prize a sableye Colrus boss's orders. Um, super odd. Okay, super odd. That's a big one. And the other lightning energy. Okay, like some not amazing prize cards here. I still miss okay getting rid of lightning energy early. For, for the most part, I'll just be running the early game with Sableye, Cramorant, Radiant Greninja. You know, like, Raikou is pretty good, but, like, at least just to ramp the loss, and that'd be the only reason to drop. I think I might just vacuum out my beach court to get to four this turn. We'll see if, if I can hit a chorus or an ultra ball. Okay. I, I just want to take out Mew. Like, Rope feels weird. Oh, I... I don't know about that. Let's 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 just play the rope. I mean, I, I get to five this turn at minimum, and that's that's pretty good. This gives my yeah, like force them to like front load the rod usage in the early game. Dang, I need Dragonite. Dragonite is too important of an attacker. I mean, I could drop FSS and just like. Flip over the V Star marker, get to seven this turn. I don't hate it. I'm also like, I always do it. This bench is already like awkward. 
So we have no room for Sableye next turn. Not that like turn two Sableye is terribly likely, but like we actually set up pretty well. Like put ourselves in a decent position to get there. I'm pretty happy to see those cards go. Um, I think I just, I, I just give this, this, this mana fee and give myself access to reading Greninja next turn. I don't need to spend the lost vacuum. I'm going to save the water energy for either Conceal Cards, for Dragon Gale, for Moonlight Shuriken. Whatever we happen to, I need it for. Hopefully we can rip the Colrus off the prize cards. I mean, Super Odd is probably our second best prize. So we'll see what my opponent responds back with. I, I hate prizing Sableye just because a lot of these cards are decks are Lost City. So we really can't afford to loss in too many attackers or sometimes we can just run out of them. And then also, um, Sableye is just really good. It turns out that Sableye card is pretty nice. So this appears to be not an Arceus builds, nor Pidgeot's, which is interesting. You don't see just like a straight Charizard too often, like Charizard for Barrel. There was like a Charizard for Barrel deck that top, um, I think it's the top 16 or top 32 Sacramento, but I'm pretty sure they had Barrel and Arceus, not just straight Charizard for Barrel. And playing the other Bidoof, too, just, like, does not want to get Lost Mines. I don't hate that, honestly. Um, but the other Bidoofs would be being very good for them. I guess they can evolve that guy up. So they're not doing anything to me this turn. I might just go 90-90 on both of these guys. I'll put this in range of Dragon Gale and just KO the other Charmander. My opponent, like, would definitely like to find Super Odd early on here I should put the energy on the Charmander if there's a super odd so they can get man if down this turn that would slow me down up fairly significantly man I'm still taking a prize with Spitz it's just like I'm not sure I can get so much value so did you find a ball search card or your physical man if I I just think, like, kind of like Beach Course staying in play. It makes Mew a lot better of a card. Uh, they have Artisan to go and find the Manaphy. And that's annoying. We don't have space for the Sableye. If we had space for the Sableye, oh man. I need my, I need my uh, Collab Stadium Lost Vacuum combo. I don't even have, like, Boss to chase this guy down. That's the good news is that they have five prizes in play right now, so... We don't have to get through a Charizard EX to win the game, potentially. Alright. Do I even need to Lost Vacuum? Getting to 7, though, is just nice. All my Super Reds in my hand, conveniently. Just the card I do not want all four, or, um, all of them up early on. But innocently, we're up to 7. Uh, two prizes ahead. Um, hopefully, we draw Gorus here. I mean, Sableye, <laughs> still solid, I guess. So they promote Charmander, must have the Candy Zard in hands, or Arvin, or some way to get it this turn. And I guess if they can get this Charmander, then they only have three alternate prize cards in play, and I'm going to have to get through at least one Zard. At least they have like, enough other little guys down that I don't need to get through two. Like, that's what's um, awkward when you face a, like, a Zard player who either... You just like can afford to bench really small early on. Like you don't always have that luxury when you're not drawing well. And and benching the the the, the second but barrel isn't a bad call. Just because you know that I'm playing Roxanne, you know that Sableye can just kill your first but barrel, and you still want to be able to, to draw cards and play Pokemon. So I don't know. I have good cards in hand, but like they're not great cards. So hopefully we can get to Colrus. All right. And we still have access to Sableye. I mean, we, we did it anyway with the Artisan. So, if they actually choose to put down another guy. Okay, they just shuffle the deck. That would have been a pretty big misplay by my opponents. Like, that makes my... That would have made my win con so much easier. But did my opponent just whiff Cars RDX? I'm going to spend the second rod just to draw more cards. Didn't even find Charizard. Just, like, straight up doesn't have it that is crazy 
retreat back into the Manaphy and pass. Unfortunate. I wanted to show up like a good game where the Charizard player got going, darn it. <laughs> These paid actors don't uh, don't do do their job against me. Um I mean I we only have Shark next turn, it's pretty good. Let's, let's get rid of a psychic energy. I still want to keep drawing cards. Turns out drawing cards in this in this game is pretty good. Let's do that, and then let's just take another knockout. I guess my my opponent could like KO Dragonite, like KO and Lost City Dragonites. But we know they don't have Charizard. I straight up promotes the Charmeleon. That's the energy. It maybe isn't a Lost City build if we see the Artisan just gonna cast up Dragonites. Lost City would, would be really rough. Hopefully they, they can't get there. And just using scissors for one. It's really struggling to like find. Okay, found the Charizard off the one Barrel card. That was clutch. So Lost City would really be the icing on the cake here. If they're even playing it. Like maybe if you're not playing Arceus or Pidgeot, you just have to play like Artisan. Just like ensure better turn ones. I really has a lot of clunky cards. Just these barrels are not drawing too many. Just announces burning darkness. So I, I think I'd want to use Radiant Greninja this turn. Um we have the water in my, what water is down. Zero are in the lost zone. So I can just instantly um use Mirage Gates and put the energies on my Radiant Greninja. And then I can go 90 here to set the, the Dragonite Knockout 90 and KO Charmander and just put myself in prime position to be winning the game. Normally, what we try to do, the, the, the matchup stays pretty even. They can keep their chunky Pokemon in, in, um, in the access spot late. So then I can like try to bounce back in the game by like, if, if I've KO'd their Pidgeot early, I can like Roxanne plus Rock Crush and force them to the energy attachment as like kind of my last resort. Um, but they did just set up too slowly. Um, I, like Super Rod's good. I, I don't really need the Roxanne. I, I kind of have everything we need right here. For that matter, I can probably use Concealed Cards. Let me just do this and then cart back. So like we have a pivot. We, we probably have to expect to get Iono played next turn on us. I could Kalara and just bench the Dragonite attached to it, force them to have boss. And if they boss again, we're still just one card away. I don't hate that, honestly. You know, let's 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 do that. So I I, I do this. I do this. Oh, I already attached for turn. But like at least we Okay, that wasn't amazing then. That's, it's 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 quite right. Still, it it forces like we have a. Uh, um, it forces not. We just need rod and and a uh, ball search to win. I, I forgot that I had to attach to the or I attach to the comfy. I guess in hindsight, I would have just attached for turn on the dragonite. But I think this is still okay. Like if they boss, we have game in hand. And if they, I do know we have like one less card we have to find. And ribbing the chorus off the price finally was good. So I think the, the Clara was was correct just with what my hand is. Uh, where we had exactly... Alright, see? Uh, yeah, the opponent just plays boss, which normally would be like pretty bad. Cause like, oh no, you take two prizes and I just took one last turn. But like, I got everything. I got the super out of the gate, the nest ball. So as long as we don't sequence this incorrectly... Which I was definitely doing yesterday on stream. That was a very poor showing for me on stream. Let's just put Super Rod. Dragonite. No, not you. Dragonites. Lightning. Water. And then we play the Nest Ball. And then we play the Mirage Gates. So, very 
awkward matchup, I think, overall. Like, not amazing or poor, I would say. It's just... We're going to be the aggressors. Like, it's kind of the ball in my opponent's court. Um, a lot more pressure on them to respond back into us quickly. Otherwise, we can just kind of run away with games like this. Um, but that was a nice first dub with the Lost Box Aerodactyl. All right, running it back here. Very good hands. Uh, let's let's get it. Um, up against some sort of RCS stack. So not historically has not been the greatest matchup for these Lost Box decks. Um, like usually these RCS stacks are just super tanky. Has all sorts of disruption cards. So it can be tough for us to actually take all six of our prize cards. We do have the Aerodactyl in this list, which could be very potentially helpful at uh, just carrying these RCS Vs and V Stars. This is the attached pass, so we actually could get the Donk here. Things break right. Aerodactyl V is prized. Um, is Radiant Greninja? Radiant Greninja's not in there either. Bruh. I might just go for the Dragonite, just like put it down. We have the vacuum and we prize four we sealed. Dang, these prizes are scuffed. I got all the energies, the gates are in there, got the boss, prize like four is two. Dang. Like VIP doesn't really do anything. Um I mean it gets me crammed, but that's like it. So I might just take that stuff. I suppose the donk is... I mean, I could have got the, the VIP. Not making these easy for me. I guess. We didn't prize any... Wait, no, that was my second water. I lost... Oh, no, it was. Okay. Oh, no! But we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Flower selecting... I mean... If we... Get Boris Sealstone. Oh, the, the other Comfy's prize. I thought I was like being smart by lossing the, the Comfy to thin out the other one. Ah, so we'll never know if we could have got this donk. We we were one card short. Like, I should have grabbed the, the Comfy and at least uh, tried to get there. If I um, hit... For a seal stone or lost vacuum, I win. I know it's like two two outs in a thirty four card deck, um, but at least could have been possible. The one ten still not bad. It follows up pretty good with the with the dragonites. Not an Aerodactyl though makes this matchup a lot worse. Looks like it's probably like Arc Dura. Uh, not something we see very often, but I guess if ladders full of Dural or full of Lugias, it makes sense to just try to hard counter those. RC is going, so Starbreeze can get them really whatever they need. Uh, I mean, they, they got good cards in hand if that's what they're discarding. So, they have the Ultra Ball. Probably going to be finding their Duraludon or whatever preferred attacker they have. I mean, fighting Metal Energy is definitely... They're playing Luxray and Dura. I assume this is Dura, at least. Bro wants to make sure he really beats Lugia. Like, must have like 2 0 collapsed by Lugia's at, at League and just like gonna concoct the ultimate Lugia hard counter deck. It'd be hilarious if they have like the Rapid Strike Mustard or something. Like, they have all the sauce in here. Man, Lux, right? In presumably Arc Dura. I didn't quite see what they got off that Ultra Ball. Another Arc. And Starbirth. So presumably DTE and then Research, Iono, Judge, whatever draw supporter they are looking for. <laughs> this it, it, it's ladder. You never know. But like my, my ELO is like not exactly low, so you don't usually see like these these jank decks the higher you get up. Uh, I guess it's it's still PCGL ladder. All bets are off. So there, there's that judge. Hopefully, cannot path me. But if it's Dura, they're probably not running path. There's a hammer though. Okay. Bad card hits tails. That is good. So 
I assume, I mean, yeah, Kramer's going down. I didn't get the energies on the arc. If I can do a rope KO this arc, that'd be ideal so I can get four prizes out of Dragonites. Got four in the loss zone. Luminion can get me to Forest, get me up to seven, uh, thanks to Comfy. So if, if I can get to rope, that'd be ideal. I mean, I, I'm taking the two prizes regardless. Uh, but I just prefer to be the, the one thing that I, I can potentially not knock out later in the game. But hammers make maybe so I have to be a little thoughtful with how I spend my like spend my my, my super rods, discard my energies. I already lost in one water. So I really don't want to lose soon too many more. I, I saved the rope, right? Yeah, I, I still have all, all the ropes. It's a close experiment. There is a rope. But I really want all of the remaining cards. I guess we'll throw out the forest seal stone. And throwing away the super rod feels awful. But I think that's what we have to do. That hurts a little bit. Okay, we had we to use the flower selecting. I was about to go ahead and just slam gates. I know the rope is fine with me. I'm like not really too afraid of path at this point. Um, I'm actually... I'll put the second lightning on the active and just like go ahead, hit a hammer. Like probably what they want to do is go like judge hammer. Or I can just put the psychic energy on to have the pivot. Like I don't need the pivot. So like, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I can get one more flower selecting thanks to the beach court. I don't really need Roxanne. Let's just get another switching card so I can move between the guys. And we'll announce Dragon Gale. So this starting is going to take me two more prizes next turn. Um, like they, they can Sharon's care. Like that's just losing them the game. Hopefully we can find the Aerodactyl. All right, we found probably our two best prize cards. Aside from maybe for a Seal Stone. But getting the, the Aerodactyl down gives us another way to um, take care of these Arceus. I'm going to play Rope again next turn as well. I just like, I'll take the easy knockouts here. Like, Kram already set this one up. So normally, if I'm not playing the, the Aerodactyl in one of these um, Lost Box decks, my prize map gets a lot weird. Like, I have a whole lot weirder. I've just like tried it like three times to win the game potentially. Um, where, but I can bench Aerodactyl and I'm a lot safer around hand disruption. I can just put everything on the board. So we'll just get this, this, and this. Um, I forget exactly what energies I have in deck. I lost into Psychic. A Lightning is on the board. So that lost water already. Yeah, so we don't have any energies in deck. So it's not worth playing the Mirage Gate down. Um, so yeah, we'll get that. I think we will just bench the Aerodactyl, put the Psychic Energy on it. I'll, I'll put in the, the Radiant Greninja and conceal cards a couple cards deeper. Maybe you should have done that, like, <laughs> um, earlier. Okay, I like using Super Rod and then Gate and, like, forcing my opponent to hit Hammers. I guess like I don't have the energies though. Like I'm putting. Well, no, no, no. This is fine. It's awkward because like one what? What does one water energy do? Uh, we have the fighting in deck. We have Claw in hands. So let's just do this. So now my opponent's got to hit some hammers to stay alive. Which we we definitely love to see. So we'll 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 smash Dragon Gale again. And then. We're just one knockout away with the Aerodactyl on the bench ready to go. So the only the way that this goes, that this potentially slips out of our fingers here is if we get like I go back to the two, two and hammers go crazy. Then my opponent could have some sort of crazy comeback. But I feel like the Dura is worth benching in this matchup. It's just so bulky. Um, like it's I mean, I guess it's like pretty much similar to an Arceus. Uh, but like it, it, it costs more of like a Sableye commitment. Like I can't just like Sableye normally can go like 30 on an RCS, 30 on another RCS, like all with one lost mine. 
where I pretty much have to dedicate one whole lost mine to. Um, I think my punisher benched the tomb a long time ago. Like if if, if they would have had it turn two, like they should have benched that just just to play around the escape rope because rope got way too much value this game. Not, I mean, it's not hurting me, but it just like makes it so I they put the one prizer in the active spot, and then I can't, um, I can't, I dr dr dragonite. But my opponent doesn't really have a whole lot going, uh, so a fairly easy dub over Arceus despite prizing the Aerodactyl. Um, and love to see the the fast starts both these games because I was having a lot of trouble setting up my Pokemon, um, the previous tournament that I played in, so. Getting e e easy dubs on the ladder. We absolutely love to see. I, I don't. Why are you make me drag the energy? Like, <laughs> I just want to win the game. I can. Just, you not only make me discard the energy, but you make me draw my two prize cards. Just unacceptable live.